Okay guys, now that um, we have connected all of our granny squares for our top portion, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and then we're going to make a half double crochet all the way around. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm starting in that corner there and um, just working in each stitch. And I know that on my half double uh, or on my granny squares, I have 22 um, stitches. So I'll work in each one of those 22. And in that middle stitch there, or in that single, or I mean in that chain stitch there, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make the half double crochet in that chain stitch. And then I just continue my half double crochets all the way around. Um, you will see when I get to the end of this granny square, I'm going to go from one corner to the next corner here. And, um, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna half double crochet in that chain space at the corner and then I'm going to go to the next corner and I'm gonna half double crochet in that next chain space there. And then I'm gonna continue that around. One thing that you're gonna see that I do here also is I'm going to pick up that uh, piece of yarn and I'm gonna crochet right over it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I do not like weaving in ends. So I'm, instead of weaving in this end, I'm just crocheting right over the, that um, yarn end right there. And then I'm going to continue my half double crochet all the way around. And, and I'm just carrying it with me and I'm half double crocheting all the way over it. And um, at the end, you may have a little piece left off that you have to just cut that little piece and that'll be it. So it's a lot easier than crocheting those ends in or or weaving the ends in. And I sped the video up a bit here because I didn't want it to be just super boring for you. Um, you know, just watching me do half double crochets for endless amounts of time. And here again, I was at the, uh, the corner there. And so I'm just going to one corner, half double crochet in one corner and then the next. And right there, even I messed up right there, I uh, forgot to carry that end with me so I just took out a couple of stitches and then I'm going to carry that in with me and work right over it that way I don't have to weave it in at the end and I'm just going to repeat this over and over until I get to the very end just making a row of half double crochets right in um, top or right on top of those granny squares there so just repeat that over and over again. And if you don't know how to make a half double crochet, I do have a video on how to do that. And I will link it in um, the description in this video here. And this video is a series of videos on how to make a granny square dress. Um, now this video, of course, is um, finishing up the top part of the dress or the top half of the dress. And... Um, and right now we're going to actually make two rows of the half double crochets and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to turn it over and we're going to um, work on the bottom part. So this is the top part right here. And again here I'm just continuing all the way around until I get to that first one. So I've got one more granny square there to uh to do and then i can connect to the first half double crochet i made on this um on this round here and i'm working over that end again just working over those ends i'm almost to the end here so now i'm just going to half double crochet and then I'm going to do a slip stitch right there in that first half double crochet I made and it can be a little tough and now I'm going to chain one and see here you can see how it looks laid out so it looks a lot more even right now than it did before and that's what I'm looking for 
right there is for it to look more even. So now I'm going to do the same thing as before and I'm gonna go into that same stitch there that I chained one from because if you don't, it creates a little hole and I just don't like the way that looks. So I went into that same stitch that I, that the chain one came out of and now I'm going to just half double crochet all the way around this. And again, I sped it up here, so hopefully um, you guys won't be too bored just watching me do half double crochets all the way around. And when I get to the end here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off my yarn and then after I do my slip stitch, I'm going to cut off my yarn and then what I'm going to do is, um, is a attach the yarn on the other end. So I'm going to turn this over and attach the yarn on the other end. And of course I'm just continuing the half double crochet all the way around. And this is, this is the top part of the dress, just in case I didn't say that before. This is the top part of the dress, and then the other side is going to be the bottom part of the dress. And I'm going to be showing you how to do some different things like the half double crochet decrease and increase and a single crochet um, decrease and increase also. And I'm also going to be showing you how to change yarn um, so that it looks nice and even after we turn this over. Look, I thought I was almost to the end here. That's why I stopped it, but I've still got a whole other granny square to do. So I better get on doing that whole other granny square. And then when I get done with this granny square, I'm just going to slip stitch in the very top of that first half double crochet that we did. And then I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to attach it on the bottom. But until then, I'm just continue, continuing to half double crochet all the way around this. Now here you're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet, cut your yarn, and it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just weave in those ends, that way you don't have to do it at the end. There's my last half double crochet and now my slip stitch right there. And now, now all I'm going to do is cut it and weave in the ends. So here I'm just cutting it and then I'm weaving, going to weave in that end a little bit there. And I'm not probably not going to weave it all the way in. I'm just going to do it a little bit so I make sure it's secure and then does not come out. I get paranoid about that kind of stuff. So I just want to make sure it's secure for now and does not come out. And I may actually end up, because we're going to add a couple of more rows um, later on, after we get the skirt attached and everything, we're going to add a couple more finishing rows to the top. So I may end up actually just crocheting over this also, but I want to weave in those ends for now. That way I know it's secure and it does not come out. So now here, what I've done is I turn it to the bottom side. And really, you can attach the yarn anywhere you want. I, I almost always attach it in a corner for some odd reason, but you can attach the yarn to any square that you want there. And here I'm just going to chain one right there. And then I'm going to, again, half double crochet all the way around. And I'm going to half double crochet in that chain one spot that I just made. Um, again, I don't like the way it looks when it leaves a hole and it will leave a little hole there if you don't do it that way. And again, I just really don't like the way that looks. So. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side and just half double crochet all the way around. I'm going to, uh, look, see, I forgot to pull up to uh, work over 
my yarn in right there so so all I did there was I took it out and now I'm working over that yarn end and to me it's worth taking it out a little bit if I haven't done too much than it would be to have to go back and weave in that end that that I guess that tells you how much I really don't love weaving in ends but here I sped it up because we're just doing the same thing that we did before which is half double crochet all the way around and I'm working one half double crochet into that chain space so each chain space on the corner I'm working one half double crochet into that and then um, in the middle there the chain space I'm working one half double crochet into that also and then for each um, double crochet I did before I'm working my uh, one half double crochet into those two so I'm just doing this again all the way around until I get to the end here and this is really just repeating what we did before as far as doing some half double crochets all the way around and um, we're going to do this for another two rows actually so we're going to do half double crochets around for another two rows and again I'm just going over all of those ends Just half double crocheting over all those ends right there. And then the corners, half double crocheting, one in the chain two space in the corner, and then the next chain two space in the corner. And so where we weaved it in, I'm kind of, it looks like I'm just kind of ignoring that area. I, I kind of am, I'm just, I'm going right, right over that area, I'm skipping it. And one thing about crocheting like this too, as this will end up being a little bit looser than what you think. So I do, I like to do it just a little bit tight around the chest part or the top part here. And here I'm at the end. So I'm half double crocheting in those last couple right there. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made and it can be a little tight. And I'm just pulling it through. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to repeat the same thing I just did all the way around, which is exactly what I did on the side. And like I forgot to take that one up. So since it's on the inside and I'm not too worried about it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and carry that up with me now. And you can see there that um, I half double crocheted in the chain one space. So again, I just half double crocheted in that chain one space that I did before. That way it doesn't leave a hole. So I just grabbed that one from, if it was in the front, I wouldn't have done that. But since it's towards the back, it's not, you're not going to see it from the front. So I went ahead and the one I forgot to work in earlier or crochet over that end, um, I'm just doing it now and then half double crocheting again all the way around to the end boy I wish I could crochet this fast in real life that would be awesome wouldn't it and I'm really loving the way this looks it's coming out nice um, all the seams are nice and flat which is exactly what I was wanting I didn't want them to bulge or anything like that I didn't want it to bunch anywhere so I'm loving the way that this is turning out and then I'm just continuing the half double crochet all the way around again here I just slowed it down a little bit and I'm to the end right here so I'm gonna slip stitch into that one right there and it took me took me a couple of times there to get that slip stitch in I'm gonna chain one right there so you can see how it looks right now I'm again I'm really loving the way it looks it looks great so I'm chaining one and then I'm going to 
do one more half double crochet all the way around and then I will meet you back here because after this we're going to make some half double crochet decreases so one more round of half double crochets and then we're going to make some decreases okay and again make sure you half double crochet in that chain one space so we're back now and I've got my third row of half double crochet. So you see here one, two, three. So that's my third row of half double crochets there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make 10 half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm going to do a decrease. So what I'm going to do here to do the decrease is I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook in that next stitch and I'm going to yarn over and pull up a stitch. I have three. I'm going to yarn over again, insert my hook through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a stitch. I got one, two, three, four, five loops on my hook. Yarn over again and pull through all five. And that's the decrease right there. So essentially I've made two stitches into one. So now I'm going back. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now if you lose count, you can always go back to that stitch because you see how it looks a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger there because you've made those two into one. So there's one. So right there, two into one stitch. So then I have five that I've done. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I'm going to make another decrease, so exactly like I did before. And if you don't know how to make a half double crochet decrease, I've got a video that goes very slow that will show you how to make a half double crochet decrease. So I would um, suggest watching that video if you want a more detailed explanation here. And what I'm doing is I'm just continuing that pattern all the way down. So I'm making 10 half double crochets and then one half double crochet decrease and I'm just repeating that all the way down. And this is going to cinch at the waist a little bit so it's going to make the waist come in a bit. Which is um, this dress for my daughter and that's what she wanted. She wanted the waist to be cinched some. So, um, so that's what we did. And um, this yarn, I think I said it before when we were making the granny squares, but I got this yarn at a um, at an estate sale, and it's um, some vintage yarn, and she picked it out, and she just absolutely loved it, and wanted the dress made out of this. And I think it's really cool. I love working with vintage yarn. And you can get some really great deals at estate sales and at places like Goodwill or thrift stores for yarn. Just, by the way, keep your eyes open because yarn can get very expensive. And here, I was just repeating that pattern of half double crocheting, doing 10, and then doing a half double crochet decrease. And I'm just doing that all the way around here. And then when we get done with this round, we're going to do another round of decreases. But what we're going to do here is we're going to switch colors around some. And our next, so our next row, I'm going to show you how to switch the colors. And so we're almost done with this one. And what I did here was I I filmed the video and forgot to push record. So then I had to take everything out and refilm it. So here what I'm doing is I have the yarn I'm about to use right there. So I'm pulled through. So when I do my slip stitch, I'm just going to pull through that new yarn and make the slip stitch with that. And here what I'm doing is I'm tying off the back there. So 
I like tying it so I make sure it does not come loose. And then these ends, I'm going to crochet right over these ends. So when I did my slip stitch at the very end of that last round, what I did was I just um, pulled through the new yarn on that stitch. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do 10 single crochets and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease. So I'm going to do, it's kind of, um, it's similar to what it um, was on the last, the half double crochet decrease, but this is a single crochet decrease and I'm just doing 10 single crochets here and then I'm doing a decrease. And again, if you ever get lost in how many stitches you have to go, you can always go back and count. So here I'm going back and I'm counting right there. And so here what I'm doing is just continuing that. And this right here is about to be the decrease. So here I'm going to show you how to do that double crochet decrease. So I'm inserting my hook in that stitch. I'm pulling up a loop. I'm inserting my hook in the next stitch and pulling up a loop. Now I have three, one, two, three loops on my hook. I'm um, yarning over and then pulling through all three. And now I'm just going to continue doing my 10 single crochets. And then I will do the single crochet decrease. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So here I sped it up again um, so you could see me um, how I'm repeating that around. And, um, and again, if you get lost, you can always go back to that decrease that you made because it's pretty easy to see where the decrease is at. It'll look a little different than the rest of the stitches. So I'm going all the way around and I'm doing 10 single crochets and then one single crochet decrease and when I get done I'm just going to slip stitch in that first stitch made and then I'm going to change my yarn to the orange yarn and um, I know I said this before but I did this whole section earlier and um, thought it was recording but it wasn't recording so I had to take it out so my yarn is actually already connected where it needs to be um, just because I had already done it once so so uh, yeah sometimes I forget to push record and here it's not quite lining up the way I wanted it to because honestly just because I did attach it before so I'm just uh, taking out a couple of stitches there and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slip stitch in that first single crochet made and I'm going to pull the orange through now so I'm going to pull the orange all the way through all the loops and then I'm going to do two chain stitches so and now I'm going to make double crochets all the way around here and I'm going to start again in that um, chain two spot that way I don't have a hole there um, some people count that chain two as your first stitch but I'm not doing that here because I just really don't like the way it looks um, I like to um, not count that as the first chain stitch so at the end when I slip stitch to the first stitch made I'm not actually slip stitching to that chain stitch when I'm slip stitching to is that first double crochet so I'm going to kind of pretend that it's not there and here I'm carrying um, those ends with me so I'm just crocheting right over those ends and I like to try to put them towards the back here so you can so you don't see them on the front side and since it's really the same color of yarn the orange and the green it's not really going to show that much but still I like to put them towards the back and again I'm just speeding this up and um, this one doesn't have any increases or decreases. This row doesn't. So it's just doing double crochets all the way around here. So here I've finished one row and I'm doing my last double crochet right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to the 
first double crochet made not that chain the first double crochet so a slip stitch there and now I'm going to chain two again and then I'm going to do the same thing as before so I'm just going to make a roll of double crochets all the way around again and I'm going to slip stitch into that first um, double crochet made not the chain two the first double crochet made because again I don't like the way it looks it looks like it leaves a hole and I don't like the way that looks so I'm just going to do my um, double crochets and then slip stitch to that first double crochet made and I'm speeding it up here again because you don't want to see me doing just a whole round of double crochets and of course feel free to pause this when you need to especially if you're working on it real time um, I'm trying to break the videos up some so I'm you know coming out with the first how-to video so the first how-to is really how how you measure yourself, how you know how many granny screws that you need. And then after that, um, it's how to make the granny squares. And then this video is how to um, finish up the top and connect, um, connect the top. And then the next one will be connecting the bottom and then um, attaching it to the top. But again, I'm just doing the um, double crochets all the way around here until I get to the end and then after I get to the end I'm going to slip stitch in the um, top of that first one so here I'm at the end I'm just going to slip stitch right there in that first double crochet made and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this yarn and I'm going to change back to the variegated green color so I've got my variegated green color there and I'm going to pull through both of those loops I'm going to tie this in the back just like I did before and I'm going to work over those ends so I don't have to weave them in and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make a single crochet just all the way around so it's kind of what I've been doing is just working all the way around one single crochet in each of the double crochets that you just made and I, again I'm crocheting right over those ends sometimes it's kind of hard with this single crochet because it doesn't have any height to crochet over the ends like that especially when there's two ends there which there are there's a, a green end and then uh, the rust or the burnt orange end and, and I do again like to keep those ends towards the back that way that way you don't see them from the front and it would be um, really apparent if you were working in some colors that were a lot different colors but since we're kind of working in the same color scheme it really doesn't look that bad you really can't see it from the front but I still like to make it towards the back and here I sped the video up again and I'm just doing single crochets all the way around here and I, I do encourage you um, pause the video when you need to that way I don't get too far ahead of you and then next round what we're going to do is we're going to switch our colors back to that cream color so it's switching it back to the color that most of um, the dress is made out of and I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet increase so this part will be part that's going to go um, closer to the hips there so this will be where we then this next part will be where we attach the skirt But for now, I'm still just continuing to single crochet around until I get to that first 
um, single crochet that I made. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. So here, that first single crochet right there, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of it. Now I'm going to get my cream there and I'm going to attach my cream. I'm going to cut the variegated, the variegated green and white yarn and then just attach my cream yarn here. And there's a little bit going on here, so as far as the colors go and how much yarn I've got just kind of laying around. So I am just going to tie those in the back yet again. And then I'm going to crochet right over them. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do five half double crochets. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet increase. So there's one right here. And then I've got two, three, four, and then five. And then the next one I'm going to make two half double crochets in that one stitch and that's the increase. So I just make two half double crochets in one stitch right there. So I went into that same stitch and made another half double crochet. So two half double crochets and then now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and then five. And you can go back and count also. So you can see that there's two stitches in that one stitch and then you count five if you get lost. And now you know where you're at and then you do two half double crochets in that one stitch right there. And then you just repeat this all the way around. Um, this will make the skirt um, be a little bit, it will make it flare a little bit, so it'll make it just a little bit wider. And what I'm doing was with the top, I did um, six granny squares in that row, but the bottom is gonna have eight granny squares in that row. So I definitely have to increase my stitch number. So after we get done with this row, what we're going to do is we're going to count how many stitches we have but for right now, we're just continuing to do the half double crochet increase all the way around. And what it does is before, if you remember, we did the um, decreases, one decrease every 10 stitches, and now we're doing an increase every five stitches. So what it really does is it's taking us back, down, or back up to our original um, stitch count. So we really should have this stitch count that we started out with when we're finished with this round. So here I'm back to where I started. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch right there into my first half double crochet made and then I'm going to repeat that what I just did so I'm going to do half double crochets times five and then I'm going to do the increase and then again, after this round, I'm going to count my stitches. And I'm speeding this up again, but if you need to pause it at any time, please pause the video. And I'm also going to have written instructions. 
on the community page. So you can see it, the pattern written down also. Um, I think it's easier to follow along, especially for a beginner, but um, I will also have the written instructions. So here I'm just doing my last half double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch made. And I forgot to bring my, um, my stitch markers. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to do some marking with um, pieces of yarn. So I've cut some pieces of yarn and on the first stitch that I count, I'm going to mark that one. Um, that way I don't get confused as to where I'm at. And I'm also going to put um, a piece of yarn into that um, stitch right there or into the, the working stitch. And the reason that I'm putting that there is just so it doesn't come loose while I'm trying to count. I may want to make some adjustments. And what I'm doing is I'm just counting every 100 and I'm marking every 100. Now you could mark every 50, whatever's easier for you, but I find that it's much easier to count when I mark it, especially if I get lost, because um, it, again, there's a million distractions that we can all have. So it's pretty easy to um, forget where you're at. So having um, a place that you've marked where you've already counted is extremely, extremely helpful. Now, I know how many stitches I have here. So I have 146 stitches. But what I need to have um, for the skirt area is I need 176 stitches and um, the reason I know that is I know that my granny squares have uh, 22 stitches per square and I'm using eight squares so that means that I need um, 30 more stitches than what I have so um, what that means is that I need to divide 146 which is what I have by 30 because because I need 30 extra stitches and that equals 4.8 so I need to sew two granny square stitches onto the skirt every five stitches and if this is confusing I'm going to show you what I mean that for now um, after we're finished with all of this we are going to go um, onto the skirt portion and connect that 